Hey guys, and we're back with the Saladin campaign. Uh, the next one we're going to be taking on is the Siege of Jerusalem. Uh, this might be a bit of a challenge, especially at the start. But uh, once again, it's kind of more a d defense chapter where you build up to get to... I believe you can get to the Imperial Age. Uh, yeah, you can, because you need trebuchets to take out the towers, or at least those are the best things to use. And all you actually need to do is take out five towers. Uh, it's actually made quite difficult because Jerusalem is pretty well defended, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that difficult after we get our base rolling, so yeah. Jerusalem. Twenty years have I been with the Saracens. Saladin's target is Jerusalem. The great ancient city is sacred to Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and is the virtual capital of the Holy Land. If there can be a victor in this endless conflict, it will be the army who holds Jerusalem. To complicate matters, Saladin is determined not to harm the city itself. If a single holy shrine is damaged, the populace might well view Saladin not as a liberator, but as yet another conqueror. So it is a very simple setup. Uh, you cannot destroy any of the monasteries or the Dome of the Rock in uh, Jerusalem. So when you do have trebuchets, you can actually make bombard cannons as well if you need to. Uh, make sure you set them on no attack stance so they don't go haywire and lose you the mission and you don't know why. But you need to take out the five towers uh, surrounded Jerusalem. Four of them are on the outside. I think three of them are close to you and one's at the back. And then you have um, one in the middle, which is very, diffi very difficult to get to. Which will probably almost always be your last one that you need to get, I would assume. Uh, so yeah, we we're going to be d mostly doing defending. I probably won't attack them too much. Uh, I just need to get walls up and such. Uh, yes, uh, the Hospitallers or Hospitaliers and the Knights Templar are back and they're not as difficult here. They don't make a, 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 like a bunch of units. They're off to the west and east sides of the map, sort of. Uh, yeah, and trebuchets are pretty much going to be mandatory. Alright, so we're going to start scouting out, first of all. And I am going to start to... From our bows, rarely miss their mark. We got Archers of the Eyes. Uh, these guys are basically just uh, upgraded ballista. You get a few of them to start off. And here is a villager coming at us right away. Don't know what they were thinking. Right, so here I'm going to say that we should build a wall there. Uh, I know I could kind of wall this area off. But, uh, yeah. We need to get a wall up pretty early on. You want to also obviously get your town centre up. Um... You can't, there is a lot of sheep around the area that uh, you can get, but uh, I don't know if I will fully use it. I will definitely get those sheep there though. But we are going to get this up as soon as we can and then start building houses at the same time. Now you are scouting with a light cavalry. If you wanted to, you could build a stable. If you wanted to. Uh, but uh, you don't need to. Uh, so one thing we'll start doing is start getting farms out at the same time because farms are important because you don't start with that much food. But you do start with a lot of stones, so, you know, use it. Alright, we almost got this a section of the wall up. It's going to take a while before you get too much up here. Uh, so they're just building houses here. Um, you know what that'll do. Alright, so you do have a, pr a pretty big source of wood when you start out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to build this wall to here, down to this cliff. And these sheep are dumb. They are very dumb right now. I don't know why, but they are. Alright, so these two are going to come out and start chopping wood for us. Uh, yeah, so these sheep are finally getting in here. We're going to start getting uh, some of these guys on the sheep, if we can. 
And uh, yeah, that should be enough to actually wall that off. It kind of does look like there is a space there that is missing, but uh, that should actually be enough, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, so we can kind of use this cliff as sort of uh, our defense at the same time. So we are going to build a wall across here. It kind of looks like you should be able to get through there, but the game decrees, nope. I mean, I can't build anything really across here, so we'll check and make sure that uh, I can't do anything with it a bit later. But uh, yeah, what, let's just get all these sheep in here. And my light cavalry is back. Uh, I found more sheep. There's so much sheep outside your city when you start out, it's pretty ridiculous. This is formidable. I advise building defenses until we have a large army. I would say so too. So what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to also wall ourselves in. And we are starting to get up our forces over here. Uh, don't worry about your um, cutting so much wood at the start, honestly. I would say that's pretty unnecessary. At least for the start part. Uh, I don't really need you guys uh, going after this, but all right, go ahead then. So you're you're not probably gonna have enough for a castle when you get all your walls up. Uh, you're you're probably just gonna have to stick with uh, having your walls up. Then claiming the stone would probably be the best option. So once again, we are going to uh, wall that off. Look how much sheep you can get. Uh, I don't think I even got all of them. There might be some in here as well. Is a ridiculous amount. All right, so this guy is going to come down and he is going to help wall uh, our area off over here and kind of wall this last bit off. Don't know why the stone pile is here, but whatever. Uh, you want to do this all obviously before they start uh, attacking you, uh, which I don't know when they would start, but uh, I'm imagining they're not going to give you the entire. Um, not a very long time, honestly, I would say. I'm kind of a bit secluded in here. I could have built the walls out more, but this should be fine for what we need to do. Uh, we are going to lock the gates right now. And... Uh, who's who's coming in here? Ah, oh, Scout Cavalry. Crazy Scout Cavalry, don't know what they're doing. Alright, so we got these guys in. Uh, I'm gonna get some more on farms. Maybe I'll build a mill outside beside those deer. Uh, I don't know if I'll die, if like, those villagers will die that I send to do that, but it might be worth it. Alright, we're gonna leave, leave, leave the scout cavalry. And uh, we're gonna go and get another gate here. And how much stone do we have? 550, that's not too bad. I would use this uh, this little air, this little uh, hill here to make sure you, you're not wasting stone, basically. All right, so we do have some villagers coming out now. Oh my god, so many sheep! I don't even know what to do with them all. All right, we're gonna get some on stone as well. And yeah, this is a pretty good start, honestly. Uh, we don't really need to be scouting out a bunch uh, early on, so how's our gold? Our gold is here, there's some gold over here as well. I might build them all over here. And again, I would need to defend that. I could just build them all somewhere over here or something. Alright, so we're going to get a mining camp up here. And I am going to lock my last gate and see if we can get out of here. Uh, where is my scout? Well, light cavalry. Alright, just keep getting those guys out. Probably don't need that many on stone. Four will do, probably. Alright, so let's lock this gate, see if we can get out. Uh, looks like there's no no chance of us getting out there, which is good. So we pretty much uh, set here, now we're going to go on gold. As we get that last guy on stone. And yeah, you pretty much just need to go and get a castle now. Uh, I'm actually going to pause for a sec and get a university. I will shove it right in here, out of the way. And we will get a couple on gold. And yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. 
I uh, don't really need to do anything else. There are a couple houses, but there's no point going after them. And uh, here we can kind of see the orange base is down here and the Knights Templar are over this side. You can kind of see, okay, that's just a gold pile, never mind. They are the yellows, so there you go. Alright, so we're going to get enough stone pretty easily, I would say. And also we're going to get a couple <laughs> more on these sheep, because there's just way too many here. And I will also need to build a mill, maybe on this side, so I can kind of put more farms here. Alright, so we got that, that's fine. And I was going to get fortified walls. Alright, so these two are going to start building a castle. Actually, I should, no, these guys are going to keep co collecting stone. I'm going to bring three off of gold right now. I don't need gold too much right now. We are going to get Mamluks, but right now I don't really need them too much. Uh, we're going to put a... Probably going to put a castle right up against these two gates. So, yeah. So I'll, I'll put it right there. And it looks like we are getting attacked a bit. Uh, just from a knight, okay. Not a calf rack, just a knight. Gonna keep these gates locked though for now. And our mamluks are pretty much gonna be able to fire from back here, which is nice. And we even have them attacking over here, and they are attacking my villager, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully I can uh, actually. Uh, of course, I can't actually uh, attack this guy, and he managed to kill one of my villagers. Which sucks, but alright. Uh, you can come over here and work on this. Alright, so they do have some crossbowmen that are annoying me. Not really too much I can do about that, but you know. Oh, I definitely want to get rid of that monk. Before he does anything, he's gonna regret. Alright. And we'll get these guys in again. So yeah, we're just defending, not doing too much. We need to get ballistics, I would say. And farms are going crazy here. All right, so let's get a mill. The city is ours. Your efforts are futile. Okay, we can't get a mill right now. We have a lot of food, so let's get more villagers out. There's Jerusalem taunting us at the moment. We're just gonna ignore them. And we are going to get a blacksmith pretty soon, if we can. Alright, so that, that castle is, you know, pretty necessary uh, when you're starting out because they, you will get attacked. That, was, that wasn't a bad attack they were doing, uh, but these crossbowmen are going to get wiped out because the AI are idiots when attacking castles, as they always are. Now, I'm going to say bring these guys to no, well, yeah, no attack stands. Uh, I'm just waiting. Oh, there we go for the blacksmith. I definitely need more over here. And I will... Oh, I can't get that upgrade yet. But yeah, um, Mamluks obviously very good. Uh, I'm not going to really have enough gold for a while, I would say. But we are going to get the, uh, the upgrades. And yeah, we've still got four on these sheep. I have so many sheep that it's ridiculous, so yeah. Uh, now I'm going to put these Mamluks in here just in case we need to... I should put the archers in actually as well uh, to heal them off a bit and also because I think you'll be getting sent some siege weapons which isn't very, very good for you and we'll get those archers in there as well. These camels are pretty useless. I mean, they are heavy camels, but... Pretty much just going to be sitting here the entire time. So I'm going to get more on gold. Uh, let's check what we have. We probably have enough on everything right now. Uh, remember, you can you can take these trees out, but don't go for these ones over here. Otherwise, your base is going to be screwed. And also, I kind of set up the trees here. Didn't really need to do that, but you know. Uh, can I get, well, I can get murder holes, but it, I don't think they'll really be attacking me right now. Uh, we, no, we're not going to get masonry. Is it just food and wood? Um, well, I could. I could get trade milk crane as well, but we'll save that. 
Right now we'll get handcart. And yeah, we're pretty much just trying to get the gold uh, to go and go to the Imperial Age. So they'll send a bunch of crossbowmen at, at, at you. Uh, yellow and orange really haven't attacked me up until this point. Which I'm kind of glad for actually, because uh, they do have Teutonic Knights. Admittedly, the they're not going to do too well against this castle here, but uh, they might attack over here, and that would be a pain because you got to, I don't know, bring Mam. Well, Mamluks wouldn't even do that much. I guess my archers, bring my archers out there. You want to fo focus on your Mamluks because Mamluks are so good in general, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, how many do we have here? We have like eight. I'm gonna bring two more villagers out. That'll probably be my last villagers because I don't really need too many on stone. I actually have enough for another castle. I could build a castle up here. Should I build a castle up here? They don't seem to be attacking anywhere else. I'm gonna leave it for now. But we'll keep collecting some stone. Man, they are just leaving the bodies trailing out there. I just don't know what they're thinking of. But uh, yeah, we're going to spam Mamluks when we can. And then we'll send the trebuchets out to attack. And that's pretty much this mission. This is what, what, what this mission is going to be for us. And we are going to the Imperial Age. 20 minutes in. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, I was going to build a mill. Probably with these guys when I'm done. I can build one now. Uh, you are going to build a farm here first though, and then I will build a mill right beside it. Right, where am I? It's just the same guy. He's an idiot, okay? Let's get iron cast him while we're waiting. You're not going to have too much gold to really go to town with, but there is some out here. Um, you could always build a market, get more. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get heavy plow. I probably should have built a mill and got that earlier. But, uh, what can you do? Looks like we were running out of sheep, surprisingly. Eventually. This crossbowman, or does he just have a bunch of brothers? A bunch of brother crossbowmen. They, they just think, oh, it's two at a time now. They're gonna take out this castle. <laughs> You've taken off like 20, not even 20 hit points, 18 hit points. Just stop. It's not worth it, man. We're gonna get it. Oh, there's a Teutonic Knight. Too bad he's dead. We're gonna get Treadmill Crane. Just because it helps out a little bit. And because I'm not really doing too much now. Man, these guys are completely just uh, just working away here. No, nobody has anything to say. I would say you might want to build a castle outside, but it can be... Um, looks like I'm not getting that guy. It might not work out for you. Because you might get bombarded with a lot of enemy troops, because they do have a lot of troops. They just send them one by one, it appears, on moderate at least. Also, I figured out how to um, actually just get a unit out, is if you shift and click on their portrait, it will actually bring all units of that type out, which is very nice. Alright, so we are going to get Bracer right now. And uh, we are actually ready to get these guys on farms. Uh, do Saracens get caught rotation? No, they don't. Okay. Uh, we actually have taken down a lot of these trees here. Now, I probably want Siege Engineers, but I'm going to need a lot more wood to get that. Jerusalem has advanced. Snap. Uh, chemistry, I'll probably leave chemistry for now. And I don't have much resources right now. <laughs> okay, this seems okay for now. Uh, I'm probably wanting to focus on Mamluks. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be 600 food. And my gold is fine right now. I think I have... I'm going to bring one more villager out. Alright, so we're starting to see mangonels, which is a little... A lot more damaging, but still nothing too too bad here. Uh, we're going to get conscription because it's just going to help us for getting those Mamluks out quicker. And we're going to make another farm here. 
Uh, I'm definitely wanting siege engineers when I do bring the trebuchets out. There are two towers very close to you that you can take out pretty early on, I would say. Um, now, do I want... Well, there's not really too much room here, unfortunately. Okay, these gold mines look okay for now. I just keep getting fucking warnings there, but there's nothing here. Everything's dying. Right, so I'm gonna get elite Mamluk when I can. Just gotta watch out in case any rams come at you. Rams are your biggest threat, pretty much, because, uh, yeah, this castle ain't gonna take them down. Uh, I don't know if they send any trebuchets at you. Alright, let's get that elite Mamluk going. I wouldn't be surprised if they did actually send uh, trebuchets at you, because they are in the Imperial Age now. Uh, so we are going to build it up here. And I cannot get that right now. No, I can. Okay. Still going with the crossbowmen though. I don't know what their uh, thinking is here. Uh, I don't think it's very good. I'm still going with that stone. I don't even know what I'm going to spend it on, but, you know. Alright, so, I, before I get a zero tree, I usually just uh, make a few more Mamluks or whatever. Because uh, you do eventually want to make sure that you can actually swarm them. But, uh, yeah, this food supply is probably enough from what we got going on here. Now, uh, I have kind of neglected to actually scout at all. Uh, the entire map. So let's go do that. I'll leave this gate open so he can get back in. He might die. <laughs> it's very possible that he might die, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We got our mangonel. It's not going to do anything. Sorry, guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not going to do much. I mean, it's going to hit at one spot. That's it. Of course, I could get hoardings or whatever. Get the pikemen and stuff. They do have calf racks. Uh, I don't. They sent a couple at me earlier, didn't they? Or they might have. So yeah, there are some monasteries that you can see right away. Here's one of the towers. There are ones over here or something. Uh, of course, we're going to have some guys chasing us at the same time. This light cavalry is probably dead. Whatever. It's not like I liked them much anyway. Uh, all right. Well. Apparently we got some uh, some guy who thinks he's doing something over here, but uh, he's really not. Spoilers for him. Uh, yeah, he's done. My my cavalry is just going at man. Look at look at those knights chasing him and everything. Yeah, the the town of Jerusalem or city it really should be. It's pretty expansive in the middle, so you've just got to kind of wait it wait before you wait until you have a pretty good force. I say Mamluks is the way to go, but you could go with something else, I assume. Farms might be an actual um, way to disrupt them. Uh, looks like they do have some farms out here. We'll just hit their villager once and then run away. And yeah, I think the bases are here and here for the other enemies. I am running out of gold now. Which is pretty bad. Can I get uh, siege engineers? No. Need some more. Your kind prefer to wander in the desert rather than waste our time. Uh, no, I'm pretty pretty cool right here, honestly. I would say. And you need a lot of gold on this uh, scenario. And my guy finally perished in the hospitaller's base. Um, yeah, barracks. Alright, what we got going here? We got a bit of a strike force. Okay, they are actually uh, taking their uh, fury out there. Uh, I didn't want to bring these guys out. I'll just send them back. Alright, so two of you are going to go and build a castle on this hill. I neglected doing it earlier. Come on, just actually attack them, yeah. And we'll take them out very quickly. Once we actually do start attacking them, just not standing there like an idiot. Jesus. 
Uh, I do have enough gold for this, just waiting on the food. Alright, so gold, gold, gold. Um, could I get it? I don't know. I'm thinking I could build another castle over here, and that's probably true. What do I want to? All right, so I don't want to. I don't need any more upgrades, honestly. We're gonna build this other castle here just for a bit of a uh, defense, though. But yeah, once we start, I'm gonna need a lot of gold for more mammoths and for trebuchets. Because I'm probably going to lose a lot of these Mamluks, because uh, attacking is not easy in this uh, scenario, honestly. And there go my villagers. I'm going to try and sneak them out if we can. I'm going to walk this other gate. Alright, so I'm going to wait until I get them over here. So it is these ten, I believe. Alright, let's try and get them through. Hopefully it's not going to cause too much attention. Uh, if it does, then well, I'm gonna build a castle beside this gold mine here, and hopefully that will help us out. So I'm gonna need like four or five trebuchets, I would say, which need obviously means I, I need more of this gold. We'll get gold shaft in at the same time. Gold shaft mining. Right, let's build a castle right here. It's gonna go up fairly quickly with all our uh, units working on it here. Our villagers working on it, I should say. And the fact that I did uh, actually get Trimal Crane a while ago. 